Hey, how's it going? My name is Dan and I used to work at the biggest dealership in the country and now I teach fine folks like you how not to get fucked when buying a car. Now in this video I want to talk about Hyundai, Molester and I know it's Molester but really what the car is it looks more like a Molester to me. I want to talk to you about what nobody else is talking about. I want to talk to you about performance, competitive performance, what the car has to offer and more importantly what nobody else is talking about. Everything that I will cover, no other car reviewer, no other auto blogger even thought about talking about because I don't have any special privileges with these car manufacturers and I can actually tell you the truth. Kind of cool, huh? Number one, what I want to talk about is its performance compared to other cars. When sports cars or performing cars are coming out in 2019, I always, always compare them to other cars that came out before them, 10, 20, 30 years before them. Because if a car is coming out in 2019 and it's claiming to be a performance oriented car or it's claiming to be a sports car or something like that, then I want to make sure that it truly is that. I want to make sure it is a performance car, it is a sports car when everybody else is telling us that it is. I don't just take some car reviewers word, I don't take car manufacturers word for it, I don't take salesmen words for it, I always do my own analytics. So here are a couple of cars that I found out that are actually faster 0 to 60 than this turd right here, Molester, Molester N, okay? Let's get started with this. Valester N has 0 to 60 at 6.1 seconds. So let's keep that in mind. 0 to 60, 6.1 seconds. Here are cars that embarrass this number right here. 2012 Hyundai Genesis 5.0 R-Spec sedan, 0 to 60, 4.7. Big ass four-door luxury sedan, heavy four-door sedan. 4.7 seconds. That's from Hyundai. I'm not even getting into cool territories like Mercedes, BMW, Jaguars, none of that shit. I'm, this, this is simple stuff. Easy, simple cars that you can go out and buy them for less than $15,000. 2009 Hyundai Genesis Sedan RK Sport Edition 0 to 60, 4.8 seconds. 4.8 seconds. Still four door heavy luxury sedan. We're not done just yet. 2009 Infiniti G37 S sedan 0 to 60 4.9 seconds. It's a sedan, it's not even a sports car. 2009 Nissan 370Z 4.5 seconds. By the way, if you're looking to buy a truly performance based sports car, you either buy a 2011 and up GTR or 2009 and up Nissan 370Z, whichever fits your budget the best, but Nissan is the only car manufacturer that still makes performance cars. Unfortunately, only two performance cars. Next one, 2007 Lexus IS 350, 4.8 seconds. That Lexus is like, I don't know, $10,000 right now? This, this Valester, Molester N is $30,000. So I can buy three of those Lexus, so I can buy two fucking Nissan 370Zs for that price. 2003 Mitsubishi Evo 8 with Vishnu Stage 1 kit, 0 to 60, 4.1 seconds. How you like that? 4.1 seconds, pretty insane for a 2003. 1993 Toyota Supra Turbo, 0 to 60, 4.5 seconds. 4.5 seconds for a car that's 25 years old. And here's my favorite. 1991 Nissan Skyline GTR R32 0 to 60, 4.1 seconds. 4.1 seconds. Is this mind blowing? It should be. It should be comparing that this is a 28 years old technology, 28 year old tire technology, 30% faster. 30% faster 0 to 60 than this 2019 Hyundai Valester Molester. Come on, get real. Don't buy this shit. Stay away from it. Examine brand new cars that are coming out. Don't take car reviewers' words for it. Do your own research. Always be skeptical and critical of what these car reviewers, auto bloggers are telling you. Do you know why they're telling you the good things about this car? Because they got free cars to review from Hyundai. They got free press passes from Hyundai. They're gonna make video content and make money from YouTube, 
Facebook, Instagram, and their personal websites and whatever ads and products they're gonna be running through it. The only reason I know that is because I'm in marketing, that's what I'm supposed to know. That's like my job to know all this shit. My business is an actual business where I make money by helping people buying other cars. They pretend they don't have a business. They pretend they're entertainment channel. They're pretending that all the shit that they're doing is for free. It's not. It's not free. It's not charity. They're making shit ton of money. And the only reason they're making this money is because they're saying good things about car manufacturers. They cannot make any critical videos or content about car manufacturers when they're getting all these brand new cars. Can you imagine if Road and Track did what I just do? When do you think they would have their next press pass? Never. They would have never been invited to any car review ever again. Let's keep going. Let's compare this 2019 two liter engine, 276 turbocharged Hyundai Valester Molester to a car that is just as fast, zero to 66.1 seconds. You know what car that is? 2013 Subaru BRZ, two liter, 200 horsepower, manual, not turbocharged. It's just as fast as this brand new Hyundai Valester Molester. It's just as fast. Both of them have 6.1 seconds. The difference is BRZ has no turbo, two liters, and Molester Valester has two liters, turbocharged, and 76 more horsepower. How is this possible? How is this even possible that this brand new Hyundai Valester is just as slow 6.1 seconds as this stock, stupid, very slow BRZ. If you ever had a chance to drive in a BRZ, BRZs or Toyota 86 are slow as fuck. They're as fast as a loose vibrator in the bedroom. That's what it is, literally. That's the only analogy I can fucking think of. I mean, it's as fast as a Honda lawnmower. Can we get real? Can we stop pretending that this is an amazing car? It's not an amazing car. It's a fucking turd. And they got some guy from fucking BMW M Works, M Sport, that was supposed to be working in this car. Did they cut off his balls and fucking dick when they hired him? Because this car has nothing to do with M Works and M Sport has absolutely nothing to do with performance. This is a fucking blue turd. That's what it is. Here's something else for you to consider. They took a bunch of these cars, shit ton of these cars, to Nürburgring. And you know what they did? They drove around without a Nürburgring time. They ha don't have a time for it. They don't have a lap time. I googled quite extensively. I was trying to find out what would the Nuremberg ring time would be. I mean, the cars are there, the press is there, the professional drivers are there. Let's make a fucking lap. Let's time it. Let's see how fast this car is. They didn't do it. They don't have it. Do you know why? Because it would fall flat on its face. You know what? Since I like GTR so much, I'll tell you what. 1989 GTR time is around Nuremberg ring. <sighs> you ready? 8 minutes, 22 seconds, point 0.3. 822.4, I'm gonna call that that, okay? Eight minutes, 22 seconds. That's 1989 car technology, 1989 computer technology, 1989 tire technology. Once you take all those things in consideration, you put nice tires, you do a nice tune on 1989 GTR, you're gonna shave like a fucking minute, like around 40 seconds for sure. We're not done just yet. This thing costs $30,000. Do you know how much fun I can have for $30,000? I heard that somebody said, Hyundai Molester Valester is not a performance car. It's a fun car. It's made for enjoyment. Really? It is. Is that why you brought a guy from M Sport, from BMW M Sport for enjoyment? Not for performance, because everybody knows BMW M Sport it's not performance, it's enjoyment. It's just for fun. It's just for fun. Hell no. That's just their excuse. They wanted to make a good car, but they failed on their face. Literally, they failed miserably on their face. Do you know how much fun I can have for $30,000? I can buy a snowmobile, a jet ski, a four-wheeler, a dirt bike, and a 600cc super sports street bike. 
all for $30,000. I can have fun out of the fucking wazoo. I can have fun every single day. I can have more fun than what I know what to do with. For $30,000, do you know how much toys you can buy for 30 fucking grand? A shit ton. Stop pretending this is a fun enjoyment car. No, they failed flat on their face and now they're trying to save their ass by saying, it's, a, it's supposed to be a fun car, it's not a performance car. Fuck that shit, it's just a fucking excuse. We're not done just yet. This car right here is making 135 horsepower per liter with turbocharger. That means without turbocharger, this car is making one to one. So that means 100 horsepower per one liter. That is fucking insane. They have an excellent engine. Far as I can tell from the research that I have done, they have an excellent engine. One of the best engines I have ever seen. One to one is, is really, really fucking amazing. That means if they make this car, let's, let's do some real simple fucking math here. This engine at three liters will make 411 horsepower. That is insane. But then you run into problem with Torx tier. So 400 horsepower is not very practical for a front wheel drive car. And I do like front wheel drive car and I wish this car will stay front wheel drive car so you can put four or five or seven hundred horsepower in front wheel drive car it's not very practical because you're going to be fighting torque steer at the acceleration but what what is practical is 370 horsepower 360 horsepower can we have that that's only 2.7 liters at 2.7 liters they could be making 370 horsepower why are they doing that they kept the good part from us. This engine is able to make excellent numbers. This engine could make excellent results. But for some reason, we're losing power from engine to the actual wheels. I would love to see what this car is making at actual wheels because I don't understand how BRZ is having same time 0 to 60 as a 276 horsepower brand new 2019 Hyundai Valester Molester. I don't understand that. Can somebody explain this to me? Hey, if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up below and click the subscribe button over my head or watch one of those two videos if you want to see more money saving tips about cars. This is Dan with 60 Minute Car. I'm signing out and I'll see you on the internet.